So a few people asked what was in our box or in this bag right here. And I don't know, what is in there? Ah! Ah, it's Blizzle! Blizzle came in the bag. That's where babies come from. What is going on YouTube where I'm your brother Reza and today's vlog is all about the Bottega Veneta dinosaur boot just caught these off of Flea Bay. It's going down. No, I just joke. This uh, this video is not about the Bottega Veneta dinosaur boot. As far as I know, that does not exist. Today's video is actually about the Bottega Veneta lug boot. Ooh, look at that boot. And uh, why I got this boot and um, damn it, I forgot what I was gonna say already. Let me go ahead and try that one more time. All right, y'all, quick overview and backstory on these boots and how I ended up with these beautiful boots that sit before me. Not even gonna front, didn't even know about this company. So every time I say the name, I kinda gotta slow down and think about it in my head, Bottega Veneta. So quick overview, these boots are 1200 US dollars. Oh my God, that's so much money. They are made out of vegetable tanned calfskin leather. Vegetable tan leather is pretty rare. It's less than I think 5% of all the leather made in the world and it is expensive and takes a long time to make. Ages better than chrome tan leather which you can make in about two days versus about 60 days to make the type of leather that these boots were made out of. But I'm so glad they made them out of this beautiful leather because I really truly do love these boots. The finish and feel of these boots is top notch. You can see how the attention to detail and the stitching in these boots is just second to none. And I mean, every inch of this boot is beautiful. So why did I choose these boots? Well, first of all, let's go back a little bit. So my prior daily driver boot was this right here. It's the Doc Martin 1460. And as you can see, this boot is kind of long in the tooth and it's been worn and loved on a lot. I started thinking about different boots that I can get. I was looking at getting the Doc Martin 1490, which is a taller version of the one that I just showed you. But that has laces on the front of it and it doesn't really have a clean aesthetic like these boots right here. So I was kind of like trying, thinking like maybe I should avoid going with the same boot again. And just by happenstance, we happened to be walking through um, Istanbul Airport one day and we were looking at the stores and I saw these in one of the stores. It was the Bottega Veneta Boutique in Istanbul Airport and I absolutely fell in love at a distance. I was so scared to walk up to these boots and try them on and touch them because I probably would have bought them right there at the spot. But you know me, I got to do my due diligence and all my research before I buy anything. So I waited and so when I got back to the United States, um, I was looking around to see, you know, if I could find these boots and I found a Bottega Veneta, almost said it too fast, Bottega Veneta store in our local mall in Atlanta. And I went there. I went there a bunch of times. In fact, four times in one week. I strategically went in there wearing different outfits just to see how these boots would work with my like go-to daily wardrobe. And surprisingly, it worked extremely well. The first time I went in there, I tried them on. I tried a size 40 because they didn't have a 41 in this style boot. And I took some pictures of the boot and I sent them to my friend who's a very, very fashionable person. And he immediately was like, man, those boots are fire. And like, I kind of like when he, when he responded like that to them, I was like, okay, I'm on to something. So, I was like, cool, that's one down. So shout out DJ Cash because your input made a massive like influence on me getting these boots. So then I went back again. And then the, the, I think the next time I went, I actually went with my wife who's watching the camera right now and one, another one of my friends, Justin. And Justin clowned me for these boots. Like he was like, man, these boots, man, how you gonna drive in these boots, man? You look like you are about three feet taller than you really are. Like you can't even walk around in them. You look like Marilyn Manson. I'm talking about, he was just clowning these boots. But I was like, you know what? I needed that like, not necessarily ridicule, but I needed that other side of like, you know, thinking process to kind of make, to really affirm my love of these boots. I needed somebody to be a doubter or, no, or a naysayer to the boots to make me be like, you know what? I really love these boots. I don't care what you say, dog. You my dog, but I still love these boots. <laughs> then, so after that, <laughs> we left and we went back another day. I, I took <laughs> a bag full of my clothes to the mall <laughs> and I tried these boots on <laughs> with like all of my like go-to clothes in one session and the people at the Bottega, Bottega Veneta store were extremely accommodating and they let me use their storage closet utility closet to actually try these uh, shoes on so shout out to Bottega Veneta Atlanta they were very um Accommodating. accommodating to such a precarious customer as myself well I was actually trying them on and doing all that kind of stuff 
my wife actually went to the register when I was in the fitting room and actually ordered these boots for me and paid for them. And I could not believe it. I was so happy because these boots are monstrously expensive. $1,200 shoes. Like, I don't think I've ever owned a pair of shoes as expensive. So thank you so much for my boot. I love you. She's behind the camera right now. And I love these boots too, but I love my wife more than I love these boots. I love these boots. Like, God, can you tell that I love these boots? I don't know if y'all can really tell how much I love these boots. <laughs> so we bought the boots. And um, so they shipped really quick. They came in two days, went to the store, picked them up. And like when the guy went to the stocking room to get these boots, like he came back out with this massive bag. Now this bag is almost as big as my body. And I was like, is that my, I was like, what, what is that? But that was the bag and the bag like I, I kind of wanted to walk around the mall after I bought these boots But then I was kind of paranoid because I'm like man Somebody's gonna know that I just spent all this money for these boots and try to rob me and this is Atlanta and Atlanta's really sketch. I don't know if y'all know about it But y'all don't know you better know cuz I got out of the mall real quick and just took myself home So when I got home, I uh, obviously opened up the boots So let me go ahead and show y'all what the bag looks like real quick. Let me move these out of the way not the bag the box duh the box. Let me show you this real quick. So the box. Oh. This right here is the Bottega Veneta box that the lug boot comes in. It's a box like mini boxes, but also not like mini boxes because it says Bottega Veneta on it. Now, put that to the side. When you open this up, it comes with these two lovely shoe bags right here. As you can see, these things, man. They feel amazing. Like the quality of these things feels like, I don't know, it's like some kind of felt stuff. Originally I thought it was microfiber, but that's stupid because microfiber is nothing like this. I don't even know why I said that, but it has the branding on there. I typically never use these things. I typically use, especially it being white. Like if I get mud on my boots, would I actually throw them in this bag and then into my luggage? Probably not. So I don't really use this kind of stuff, but it is nice to have. And maybe one day I will. Do you use your common projects one? I do. When I don't wear them, I store them in because it protects them from the moisture. It protects them from the dust and everything uh -huh. else. So, yeah, well, maybe I, I should them. start using these. But yeah, so the box comes with this right here, the beautiful bag. Uh, paper, when you place your order, you'll get like this card right here and this is your order confirmation and then they'll give you a receipt. I actually love the color of these cards, so I'm keeping these. And then the box is pretty much just filled with this uh, confetti type stuff. And that's it. I mean, it's a box like any other Italian shoe box, but it is pretty nice and the buying experience is pretty nice when you do purchase something. I mean, it better be because this is a $1,200 boot. So that's what the bag looks like. Uh, and that's what the box... Box, like. box bag, the whole kit and caboodle. The things you get when you buy something this expensive at the store. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the wearing these boots, what they wear like on a daily basis, the fit and the comfort. So I was a little bit skeptical after my friend kind of roasted me on these shoes about, man, how will these shoes be like to wear on a regular basis? But I have found these shoes to be very, very comfortable and very wearable on a regular basis. So I went with the size 41. I went a full size down from where I normally order my shoes. I normally order a size 42 in almost every shoe that I get. However, comma, with these super high-end leather uh, Italian goods, 41 fits me a lot better and these shoes fit perfect out of the box. So my common projects right here, this is a size 41, fits me perfect. It's my daily, all-day go-to shoe. So. When I was trying these on, I was trying to figure out my sizing and everything. I'm glad I didn't buy these off of eBay for two reasons. Number one, I didn't know my sizing, so going in the store helped me really uh, hone in what size I should have. And then trying to find these on eBay, um, even used, they were just as much as pretty much the regular price ones in the store. I mean, in the store, these are $1,200. On eBay, they were $1,000 for the one pair that was that I thought might have been my size, but it wasn't, so I'm glad I didn't go that route. But I wouldn't have saved very much money buying these on eBay, and plus I have a newer shoe that I can, you know, enjoy the whole lifespan of a shoe, which is something that I wish I would have done with my common projects. Instead of getting them on eBay, I should have just bought a new pair because I wear these and these pretty much every day. So sizing down for me was a perfect fit. Now I wear these with my darn tough wool socks, which are here and here. These are my thick darn tough socks and these are my thin darn tough socks. With the thick socks, they fit. They do get a little tight right here on the front part of my ankle, but I still can make it work, but they get really hot. And my feet are typically really cold, but if I put these on with these boots, I'm pretty warm. Since I'm somewhere where that is a lot warmer, 
I typically wear these with these very thin darn tough socks and they fit absolutely perfect and are super, super comfy. And that comfort really does come right out of the box for me. They were a little stiff when I got them, but as I wear them and I wear them like several times a week, they have gotten more and more comfortable and like just breaking into my feet really well. And as you can see with the amount of daily wear that I put them through, wearing them to work and stuff like that for eight hour days, almost all the time, you can see that there's very little, if any, creasing on the shoes. So my thoughts real quick on the Bottega Veneta Lug boots. Number one, these are super easy to put on. Like they're way better than a pair of Doc Martens where you gotta put them on and lace them and all that kind of stuff. With this boot, you just slide your foot right in and you are ready to go. So it's easy if you're like in and out of houses where people are like, hey, you gotta take your shoes off. This boot is totally built for that and it's a lot easier to use for a daily boot than I could have ever even imagined. They are also more comfortable than I would have imagined. A lot of people think that these boots are really heavy. I don't really find these boots really heavy, especially compared to something like a Red Wing Iron Ranger or Timberland Work Boots or the dinosaur boots I have over there or even hiking boots. Like these boots are, in my opinion, much lighter than those. So like walking in these boots and driving in these boots and going about your daily life in these boots, I have not had any problems. Like that was one of the main things that one of my friends pointed out. It was like, man, how are you gonna drive in these boots? Does it feel different than driving in a sneaker or a driving shoe? Of course it does, but it's not like one of those things where it's like, oh my God, I can't imagine driving in these. In fact, I have some hiking shoes that are super, super tight around the ankle, the zip up Adidas, uh, man, what? Terex, the Adidas Terex zip up boots that I have. I don't like driving those at all because they're super tight around the actual ankle. These right here are not a problem to drive in. They're not a problem for walking. Like I find these very, very, very comfortable for daily wear. And when you wear these things every day, I mean, obviously you have to clean them. And when I clean them, I use this right here. It's called the uh, Cobbler's Choice Travel Kit. It comes with a conditioner, water repellent, and all that other kind of stuff. And I personally just put the conditioner on the boots, wipe them down every day, and they still look gorgeous after a month of wearing them every other day for the most part. They look great. And then um, going back to them looking great, I mean, as you can see in the toe box area and around the whole body of the boot, there's not very much creasing at all for something that I've been wearing a lot. And man, you remember those Nikes that you had that creased like extremely bad out the I box? I barely got the summer out of them. Barely even wore for a summer versus this boot right here because it creases so nicely or lack thereof and the age is so nicely, man, I feel like I'm gonna be able to get season after season of wear out of this boot. And then the versatility of this boot. Let me just speak on that real quick. So when I initially I saw these boots when we were walking through the airport in Istanbul. I was like, man, I like these boots, but it might be a little bit too extreme for my style because my style is mad mid. But when I put these on with my different outfits, I feel like it just elevates every single outfit that I wear. Nothing in my wardrobe looks bad with these. I might think even in the summertime, I'm gonna try to wear these with shorts. I'm gonna pull a Lewis Hamilton. I'm gonna wear these with shorts <laughs> to the racetrack. Oh, Miami. Miami. I'm gonna wear these to Miami. Grand Prix, I'm gonna sweat in shorts with these boots on. <laughs> but yeah, I love these boots. I absolutely, absolutely love these boots. They smell great, they feel great, they wear great. They just look like a classy farm boot. And as y'all know, if you watch the channel, especially if you watch our IG, we spend a lot of time on the farm with my dinosaur boots. I mean, these things are amazing. And I just feel like this is like a, a more civilized city version of my dinosaur boots, which is something that I already kind of knew that I would love. But after buying these and wearing these, I just love them that much more. And I have no regrets about, I didn't spend the money about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife spending the money for these boots. Like I absolutely love these boots. And I know some of y'all might be like, oh man, you should have bought some Iron Rangers and you should have bought this and you should have bought that. I mean, I tried Iron Rangers. I in fact had two pair of Iron Rangers and I just, they just never got comfortable for me. I just could not stand to break those things in because they were hurting my feet that bad versus these are just, they, you know, they were initially stiff, but as they're wearing in, oh my God, I just, I love these boots. Love them, love them, love them. As some of y'all may or may not know, I used to have over 150 something pair of shoes. Now I'm down to 35 pair of shoes. My goal, my target, is to be under 15 pair of shoes. So that's my goal, that's my target. I think that these are really gonna help me work in that direction. And I'm your brother Reza. This is Carrots Life, Carrots Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment. And hopefully this video helps you uh, reach that simplicity that you might be trying to reach out of life and get more out of less items. So I'm out. See you in the next vlog. Peace. <laughs>